Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> so what's this? Uh, tree. Uh, N. It's a tree and it's also a... Binary tree? Binary tree and also it's a... Binary search tree. Is it a binary search tree? No, mm. it's not. Oh, yeah. On the left, it should be strictly smaller than the root. And on the right, it should be strictly bigger. So this one is not, right? It's not a binary search tree, oh, but my. a tree is a graph, right? And for the trees, it's like a directed a cyclic graph, right? Directed a cyclic graph. Directed means that uh, only the parent goes to the kid, right? This is the parent node, the kid's node, parent to the children node. The one without the children, we call it leaves. The one without the parent, we, we call it root. There's only one root in a, uh, in a tree, right? And there's the only maximum two kids per node in a binary tree, right? Okay, so given this uh, binary tree, I mean, it could be any binary tree. So with numbers, yeah, positive numbers, and we want to find out if there's a, a path from the root to the leaf that equals to the target, 22. You know, can you find the path from the root to the leaf, leaf node, that the sum of all the nodes equals to 22 in this particular binary tree? Oh yeah, 5, 4, 11, 2. Yeah, 5, 4, 11, 2. Okay, so how did you find this root? I want to know how, how did you find this root? Uh, how did you find the, you know, how? I mean, how, do, uh, how did you find this particular path that equals the, the sum of the other nodes equals 22? You're trying, right? You're trying each, each possibility, am I right? Yeah. Uh, a deficit? Deficit search and? Deficit search. Yeah, deficit search and deficit search. Let's look at this uh, uh, deficit search, okay? Today, okay? And then in the next lesson, we're going to talk about deficit search. Yeah. We will talk about these uh, two algorithms when we're uh, solving a lot of the tree problems, right? So for the trees, most likely you use the one traverser algorithm, which is could be deficit search or deficit search. There are quite a few different deficit search algorithms, right? Remember the traverser algorithm. The pre-order, in-order, yeah, post-order, yeah. These three, and also, you know, reverse in-order. Okay. The pre-order, what's pre-order? Pre-order is the node left and right, right? In-order is left and node right. Post-order is left, right, node, okay? If we're going for this pre-order, so what's the order of the deficit search? The pre-order, the node left to right. So what's the pre-order? Five, four, eleven, seven, two, eight, thirteen, four, one. Well done. Okay. And how about the perfect search order? What are the perfect? Five, four, eight, eleven, thirteen, four, seven, two, one. Well done. So it's basically level by level, yeah? We use the Q, remember? Double and the Q, yeah? The Q, first in, first out. We go this way. This is in Q. We put push an element to the Q. We take one out of the Q, okay? Okay, so coming back to this question, we can solve this using the deficit search, right? It doesn't matter which order it is, right? As long as we need to carry out the sum, right? So it could be done the two ways. So when we do this deficit search recursion, we can store the current total sum from the root, right? right? This is one way, and you tell me which is the other way, okay? Current sum is 5, current sum is 9, current sum is 20, current sum is 27, current sum is 22. Current sum is 5, 13, and here is 26, here is 17, and 18, right? So we pass the current sum to the leaf nodes on the way we traverse in deficit search, am I right? We accumulate the sum, right? We store the accumulate sum from the root to the current node. What's the other way? What's the opposite? Why are we storing the accumulate sum from the root to, you know, to, to the current node? So we can compare if it equals to target, right? If it, sorry? To figure out uh, if it's 22 or not. Yeah, to, to figure out if it's 22. And also it has to be a leaf node, right? And what's the other way? Instead of adding, we can what? Well, subtract. Subtract. Yeah, well done. we can subtract the nodes from the target. And then when you reach the leaf node, it has to be zero, all right? So 22, okay? Now, I visit here. So I take 5 out, which is 17. I take 4 out, 
13. Take 11 out. Wait, it's 2. Take 2 out. It's 0. Okay, so I'm reaching at leaf now. And it's, the sum is 0. So we found one pass. Alright? Uh, yeah. yeah. The other way is to add it. So the current sum is 0. Plus 5, plus 4, plus 11, plus 2. It's 22. Right? So this is the recursion deficit and the order of traversal, the tree does not matter. And we can implement the deficit using the recursion and iterative. Right? The iterative, I'm going to talk about that in the deficit next lesson because it's quite similar. The only difference is that we can change the queue to stack and then boom, it becomes the iterative deficit. Okay, so I'm going to write this, okay? Define deficit. So root and then current sum, which way you like to accumulate or to subtract? Plus then. Plus, okay. So look, this is current sum, okay? Current sum. So first of all, if not root, then we return true or false. If the tree is empty, we return true or false. Mm, hmm? If it's zero. That's a very good question. Okay, that's a very good question. If the sum is zero, and that's arguable, right? If you're given an empty tree, and then you say the target is sum is zero. In this case, you return true or false, right? It's, uh, it's arguable, but let's say we return false, right? Because uh, it's an empty tree. How can you sum up an empty tree? S plus equal, right? Root dot value, right? Then if we check, if S equal equal target, right? And also, the current root is a leaf node. So, how do you check if a node is a leaf node? Uh, if it doesn't have any children. So, and root dot left is none. And root dot right is none. Okay? We can also say if not root dot left, if not root dot right, right? Then return true, right? We need to recursively check the left tree and right tree, right? So return that first search. Root dot left. Pass down the sum. N, N or O. Here is N or O. It should be N or O. One question for you. This function recursively check if the current subtree starting with the root, right? And the sum. Can we find the pass that equals to the target? Right. And each node, we update the sum and pass it down to the left tree and the right tree. So here, should we use the end or all? So, oh, yeah, obviously, look, in the left tree or in the right tree, right? So here we should use the all, right? If we want to subtract, which way we need to change? So we accumulate the sum from the root to the leaf node. And if we want to do this the opposite way, which is to subtract, so... Minus equal. Minus equal. And what else should I change? Zero. Yes. Zero. Okay, and that will be it. Okay? So therefore search, each node is visited only once. So the time complexity is O. N. And N is the number of nodes in the binary tree. Okay? And the space complexity, we're using the recursion as the implicit um, uh, usage of stack. The complexity is O H. Okay? H is the height of the tree. And in the worst case, H equals N. In the best case is h equals log n right h equals log n in the best cases why is that look in the balance binary tree there are seven nodes right seven nodes and the height is only three so it's log to seven which approximately equals three okay this is how we get the old log h here so what have you learned today mm, learned about so what's the problem and then how can we solve it we have a binary tree we have a binary and? Mm, uh, uh, well, we, we have target. Yeah, so what are we trying to do with the target? Uh, we're doing the sum. So what are we trying to do? Trying to find out what? If it's possible if there's a path from root to any leaf, it will, the sum will add up to the T. We are oh. done. And then what equivalent are we t uh, using today? Deficit and deficit. Is this a deficit or a deficit? Deficit. Yeah. From the root, so from the root to the leaf, you can uh, add or 
and subtract and let us so you just add the numbers as you go along and then see if we can add up to t and and then all the subtracting bit is um you you get, get t and subtract the number as you go on along the uh, kind of thing okay what's the term complexity n. why is n um the tree the n is the number of the nodes in the tree what's the space complexity What's this? Look, for the recursion, it needs to go that deep, OH. H is the height, right? In the balance tree, the H is the roughly equals to the log N, right? Okay? That's it for today. Bye bye. Bye bye. Ooh. Nice. Let's take a look at these two approaches. Both are recursion deficit search. Uh, let's take a look at this the one on the left. So we're calling this deficit search function with the target sum. The aim is to subtract node values from the target until it reach the leaf node. This is to check if it's a leaf node and if the sum has become zero, let it return true. If it's a leaf node, we need to check if the sum becomes zero. Otherwise, we recursively check the left tree and the right tree. And the one on the right is slightly different. We are calling at the beginning with the root, then we subtract the sum, remaining sum from the target. So instead of subtracting at the beginning of recursion, we put it, we delayed it, we delayed it when we are calling the recursion, right? So, for k in left and right, so it has two kits. Then if k, if the left tree or right tree is not empty, it's not new, then we're calling the recursion with the remaining sum. If any of those, we found the path, then we return to otherwise we return false. Okay, so this is slightly different. Updating the sum happens when calling the recursion function. And this one is not. Updating the sum happens at the beginning of the recursion. We can accumulate the sum. Instead of minus, we can accumulate the sum and check if s equals to the target in both cases. A few moments later. Hello, Ryan. I right? Yeah. Okay, so look at this. This is the binary tree, right? Binary tree. We are also given a target. So can you find the path from the root to the leaf? That the, the sum of the nodes that equal to the target. And look, these are the leaf node, which does not have any kids. This one is the root, which does not have a parent, okay? Yeah, the leaf nodes are those without any kids. And this is a binary tree. Each node has at most two kids, all right? We're given a target, t equals nine. Can you find out if there is a such path from the root to the leaves that the sum equals the target. Is that? One, two, six. Yeah, well, exactly. One plus two plus six. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Now you get it, yeah? Okay? Okay, so this question, may, uh, let me rephrase it again. So we're given a binary tree, right? And each binary tree, each node, contains an integer, a positive or a negative, it doesn't matter. And we're also given a target. The task is that we want to find out if it's possible to traverse from the root to the any leaf node that uh, the nodes, the sum of the, the nodes that we visited equals to the target. Am I right? So remind me, what kind of the algorithm can we apply in the binary tree? Um, How do we traverse a, a binary tree? Usually, level by level, what do we call it? Breakfast search and depth search. BFS and BFS. Okay. In BFS, what kind of order is this? One, two, four, five, six, seven. Well done. So it's level by level. We use the Q, DQ, double NDQ, yeah? You remember that, right? We talk about lots of these uh, tree algorithm, right? And the depth of search, if we are... Uh, Go deepest. Yeah, deepest. Is it one, two, five, six, four, seven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well done. That's one particular depth of search. The depth of search contains a lot of uh, orders. So if we visit the node first and left, right, or visit the left, node, right, or visit the... Uh, this one, right? Or sometimes we have this reverse in order. So this is pre-order because look, look at this. Look at the node visited. Pre-order, in order, post-order, right? And then what you said is but basically the pre-order, meaning we visit the root node first, and then we visit the left tree, left tree this part, and then we visit the right tree. So it's one, two, five, six, four, seven. Okay, and sometimes we have a reverse in order. So reverse in order would be. I don't know, maybe R and L, right? Something like that, reverse in order, or reverse post order, reverse pre order.
Today we're going to talk about the depth search to do this and then in the next session we're going to talk about the breadth search. So this depth search, breadth search are the two most important algorithms that we can apply on the trees and graphs as well. Because the binary tree is a graph, it's a DAG. Do you still remember what's DAG? Um, DAG. DAG, yes. Directed a cyclic graph. Directed means that there's a direction. Basically, I don't draw the direction here from the parents to the kids, right? So, usually you're given a note, you can only visit the kids uh, from parents, but you cannot go vice versa. So, directed a cyclic. A cyclic, there's no cycle, graph. A uh, tree is a graph, okay? Given this uh, DAG, and we can apply the depth search to find out if there's a path from the root to the leaf, right? Previously, you said, okay, there, there was a path, 1 plus 2 plus 6 equals the 9. So how did you find this? You just look, right? Mm -hmm. How did you just look? Because before 1 plus 4 plus 7 can't work, and, and that was going to work, so it must go to the left. And 1 plus 2 plus 5 equals 8, and 1 plus 2 plus 6 equals 9. That's right, yeah, so you just look at it. But this is a very tiny binary tree, right? If it's a big one, how would you do it? I mean, if there are lots of nodes, right? So, for every path, do you have to recalculate the sum? For example, in this case, here, this path is 1 plus 2 plus 5. And here, this path is 1 plus 2 plus 6. Do you notice anything in common? 1 plus 2 plus 5. 1 plus 2 plus 6. Anything in common? Both have 1 plus 2 plus. So, what does it mean? So, as long as we travel down the tree, <coughs> we can carry the sum from the root to the current node, right? Alright? So look at here is 1 plus 2, here is 1 plus 4, and here is 1 plus 2 plus 5, here is 1 plus 2 plus 6, here is 1 plus 4 plus 7. So we do remember this. So it means that we don't have to, every time we don't have to go back to the root to calculate the sum. So we just traverse the tree using deficit search. And then we can accumulate some, right? And the other way is the opposite. So look here, we are 1 plus 2 plus 5, 1 plus 2 plus 6, and then we check if it equals to 9. Another way is we take one out from nine, right? Eight. A minus two. From six. Minus six. Zero, and it needs to be zero. When it reaches the leaf node, right? There are two ways, right? It's similar, right? Yeah? Okay, so let's do this step of search. As long as we carry the sum, accumulate sum, or we keep subtracting the value of current root from the sum, remaining sum, okay? Define that for search root the current sum, right? So if not root, or if root is empty, then we return true or false. If the root is empty, we return true or false. Mm, if false. false, that's right, yes, false. Otherwise, we, first of all, s plus equal, if we accumulate, s plus equal root of value, right? We added the value, the sum, we, this is accumulate sum, we added this value, right? We added 1 plus 2, and then we have to check if s equal equal t, if we get this t, but we also have to check if n and do the left is now. How do you check if a node is a leaf node? How do you check if a node is a leaf node? You check if it has any kids. If the sum we term is target, and then if this node is a leaf node, we return true, right? So look, we have accumulated the sum target, and then this node is a leaf node, then we return true. Otherwise, we have to recursively check in the left tree and the right tree, right? Yeah. So return, therefore search, root of left, S, and therefore search, root of right, S. Okay, so can you tell me here, whether I should put an N, or should I put an O? Which one? Now, I have to check if there's a path on the left tree or if there's a path on the right tree. So, is this N or O? I have to check because we on the left tree or on the right tree. So, is this N or O? Oh. Obviously, I just said it, right? I just said it's O, right? So, it's O. We accumulate the sum and we pass it down because we have done it here, so we can pass the sum here, to the left tree, when we're visiting the left tree and the right tree. We just have to basically check if there is a path on the left tree, or if there is a path on the right tree. And we pass down the accumulate sum, right? 
The other way, the opposite way, is to take the sum, take the value out of the target sum, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. 9, take 1 out, which is A. Take 4 out, which is 4. Take 7 out, which is not 0, right? So, I just have to change this to minus. And then I have to change this to 0. No. So, if it's accumulate sum, then we can just say return that first search, loop, start with the zero. If we are taking the value out of the remaining sum, then we have to call it at that first search, loop, the target, okay? Okay? The time complexity. Oh, if there are n nodes in the binary tree, what's the time complexity? Oh, um. We are done all one because we are visiting each node exactly once, right? When we are visiting the node, we have accumulated some. We have this updated some. Remaining some or accumulated some, it doesn't matter, okay? The space complexity, O, N. N. Yes, in the worst case, it's O, N, but precisely it's O, H. H is the height of the binary tree, right? So, because the recursion, this is recursion. You know, recursion, calling step. Calling depths, yeah? The H. In the worst case, is n. You know, when the tree is like that, right? Look, when the, each node of the tree has only one kit, right? Look, there are three nodes, and the height is three, right? Yeah. Okay. So in the best cases, when the tree is balanced, so there are seven nodes. N is seven. Height is approximately log log seven, which is three. Okay, approximately three. Okay, am I right? Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. You know why the log n? Yeah, binary research. Each time we cut in half, right? So when we go, go to the left, we abandon the right tree. When we go to the right, we abandon the left tree. So let, every time we cut in half, let's log n. Right? That's where the log n is for. In the best case, is when the tree is balanced. Balance means the height, the absolute height difference is smaller than equal than one between the left and the right data data h is the high difference okay so what have you learned today and that's it ryan what have you learned today what's the problem and what what algorithm are we using today what's what are we, we have doing? a tree we have we have a tree we have binary tree specifically and what are we trying to find out t what's t the number yeah what what are we trying to find out here 40. can you say a whole sentence Travel. Right? Across the tree, I try to add number until a equals t. I, we want to find out if there's a path from the root to the leaf nodes that the sum of the nodes we have visited equals to the target, right? Am I? So there are two ways of the solving it. Deficit Yeah, and for deficit search, we can do it like two easier. ways. Yeah, it's easier. So next one, we're going to talk about deficit search. For the deficit search, we can... Uh, Pass down the value, the accumulate sum, right? It could be accumulate sum or it could be a remaining sum. Okay, that's it for today. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.